Hello prospective guards, um, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with all your tips for grad school application. So if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please pause this video and subscribe. Um, thank you for subscribing. And um, for those of you who have already subscribed, um, thank you um, so much. So in today's video, I just want to address um, this question I've been receiving from lots of people about GRE and TOEFL. So most of you have been asking if it's possible to get into grad school without um, GRE or TOEFL. Anyway, I'm recording this video at 12.29 a.m. So forgive my sleepy voice. Well, so my answer is yes, um, you can get into grad school without GRE or TOEFL. It's very possible to get into um, grad um, school without both, especially during this COVID-19 era. Fun fact, I got all my five page admissions and funding without GRE and TOEFL so it's very possible so I'll just start with how you can get into grad school without TOEFL if you're from a country like Ghana Nigeria where you had all your education from primary to the university level in English it's very possible to get a TOEFL waiver so um, there are schools that have already waived the TOEFL for Ghanaian students the first step is to look out for those schools so once you visit the school's website and check the requirements for international students, you'd be able to find out if it's waived for your country or not. So once you visit a school's website, um, go to the international um, students requirements and check for um, English requirements. You can also search for English language requirements for international students at a specific school. So let's say you have um, the name of the school or the list of school you can also um, do a simple search for that and they'll provide a list of the countries that they waive the TOEFL for so i'll just like um, demonstrate it to you so let's say i want to apply for michigan tech and i want to check if they have or if they've waived um, the TOEFL for Ghanaian students since i'm from ghana so i'll just do a simple um, google search so I just type Michigan Tech. Graduate school English language requirements. So yeah, just a simple search. So if you have the name of the school, just if it's Michigan Tech, just type Michigan Tech Graduate School English Language Requirements. If you don't want to go through that whole process of going to the main school's website, finding the international office website and stuff, just do this simple search. And once um, you do this, you can just visit the English proficiency requirement. So I'll just click on the first link. So you see, this um, brings me straight to the English proficiency requirement. So you can see your international student's English proficiency requirement. Then you just um, scroll down to look at like um, where they indicate that your country is exempted. So another um, keyword you should be looking out for is exempt. So once you see exempt, you can see that they've written exempt countries or like um, they've, they've written here that see the list of exempt countries. So since I want to check if Ghana is part of this list, I'll just click here. So this will just provide you with the list of countries that have been exempted from like providing English proficiency or like from like submitting any to false score so you can see different countries here you can see botswana you can see gambia and also you can see um, ghana you can see zambia zimbabwe so if you are from any of these countries and you want to apply for michigan tech you can see that your country has been exempted which means there's no need um, for you to submit a to fall score so that's just one way to check um the first is to just visit the main school's website go to the international um office website and then search for like english proficiency and then you'll be able to know if your country is exempted or not so that's just um, one way to look out for this alternatively if um, the TOEFL is not waived or if you don't see the information what you can do is to email the graduate coordinators or program directors to request for a waiver. So 
if you don't find any of those um, English language profici uh, proficiency or exemption on any of the websites, just email the graduate coordinators um, to request for a waiver. And when you are requesting for the waiver, some of the things you should include are your educational background, highlights how the fact that you have had your entire education in English makes you proficient in English. Also indicate that you can get a letter from your school or teachers as proof of your proficiency. That's if the school needs one. So when you visit my blog, um, Grad School Cafe, I have a sample email there for like how to email graduate coordinators to request for TOEFL waiver. This is what I used um, when I was applying for the PhD program. So I sent this email to all the graduate coordinators just to request for TOEFL waiver. So as I mentioned, one of the things is just highlight your educational background. So here I indicated that given that I'm from Ghana, where English is the official language and the language of instruction at all school levels. And I'm currently pursuing my master's degree in the U.S. You don't really have to be pursuing your master's degree in the U.S. to get a waiver. If you are from a country where English is the official language and the language of instruction at all school levels just um, indicates that. And also I indicated what I mentioned about the letter. So I was like, please let me know if I need to provide other documents or letters that would help you to better assess my situation and request. I know most universities provide English proficiency letters. So just include this in your email. And if the graduate coordinator asks to see like a sample letter or a letter that um, indicates that you can speak or write good English, then you just request for an English proficiency letter from your school. So visit the, my blog and then just um, look at this sample just as a guide to also like write your own email to request um, for two four waivers. Please don't use um, the same thing word for word. Just use it as a guide. Then um, regarding the GRE. So with the GRE, if a school says it is compulsory, chances are they will not waive it however you can still email the coordinators and give it a try so i always tell people just try to email the graduate coordinators or directors to request for information so if you are in doubt or if um, you can't find any information just try to email those people and the good thing now is because of the pandemic most schools are waiving their gre so please search for schools waiving the GRE if you can't write it due to time or financial um, constraints. Like most schools are waiving it. So if you want to apply for a graduate program, just do a simple Google search for schools waiving the GRE. You get a whole list of schools. A lot of schools are waiving it. This is an example like Michigan Tech for this program, Environmental and Energy Policy. You can see that they've indicated it here that GRE not required. So if a school um, does not require GRE or if a school is waiving their GRE for that um, application period, you see that they've indicated it's there. So let's say you are from Ghana and you want to apply for Michigan Tech Environmental and Energy Policy. We've already checked um, for the English proficiency requirement and you've seen that like Ghana has been exempted and you also check here and GRE is not required. So that's that's just a plus so that's just one way um to cut down the list of schools that you'd apply to or just find schools that you can apply to if you can't um write those two exams so that's just an example you can see that um the gre is waived and so if you cannot write it you, like if you don't if you don't write the gre it does not affect your chances of getting admission or funding. I think a lot of people are usually concerned about that. Oh, will I not get, will I get funding if I don't um, submit GRE or TOEFL score? It does not affect it. So if a school is requesting for the GRE, but indicates that it's not compulsory. So some schools will request the rights that like you should submit GRE, but then they'll indicate that it's optional and it's not compulsory. But mostly people get worried if a school indicates that it's optional because they feel like that would affect their chances of getting um, funding. It's not going to affect it because um, the schools look at the entire application um, package. So they look at your statement of purpose, your recommendation letter, your resume. So if um, it's optional and you cannot, if it's optional and you don't want to submit it, 
just make sure that those other application materials are really good and very strong make sure you have a strong um, statement of purpose make sure you your recommenders write very good letters and also like make sure your resume is good and um the other thing is to just email the graduate coordinators to ask so even if you see it on the website that um the gr is waived or the gr is optional or the TOEFL, your country is part of like the exempted countries or like the TOEFL is web for you. Still um, email the graduate coordinators and verify if um, that would affect your possibility of getting funding. So just verify that because getting funding is very important. So if the school is waiving GRE or if the GRE is optional and you not submitting the GRE means you would not get funding, then you don't have to risk it. You don't have to apply for the school. So try to always verify that when in doubt. Um, I wish you all the best in your applications and look forward to celebrating your success. That's all for today. Um, thanks for passing through and please do share this video with your friends. See you again next time. Bye.